Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how I go book shopping plus a haul. I went to New York City for three days and I ended up going to a bunch of bookstores and I ended up picking up five books and I figured that I would do a come book shopping with me video. I've been seeing these all over and I've been wanting to do one so I thought when I was going to New York City for a couple days that this would be the perfect opportunity. So in between clips of me shopping I'm gonna share with you how I shop because I asked on Twitter what you would like to see so I'm just gonna answer your questions from Twitter. Twitter as well as just share what I got. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and let's just get started. So of course my first stop was the Strand Bookstore and I love this store so much. Like if you ever asked me what my favorite store was, I would say Strand. It is such a good store and it is a really big bookstore and I just love it so much. It has four levels, I'm pretty sure. There's a basement and then there's just books everywhere. So the basement has some that are like self-help and um, maybe like cookbooks and stuff like that. Um, so we went down there because my sister, um, she wanted a book so we picked her up one and I, lo I just love this store and I was just so excited to come back. I haven't been there since I went to New York before which was in 2017 I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's been a while but I love this store so much. Another great thing is that they have them throughout the city. So when I was going to Central Park there was like a stand with books everywhere and then when you go to Times Square they have one there too. So so if you are planning a trip to New York like BookCon or something and you haven't been there before that's a good tip. They're everywhere and it's amazing. So if you can't make it to the Strand, which I would hope you could because it's a great experience, like it's just such a nice store, um, you can just go to the little stands that they have. And I love the stands. They're fun. So I went on Twitter and the community page and I asked you just what do you like to see in come book shopping with me videos? And these were the responses. Um, the one response says, I want to see your buying algorithm. Do you have a process as you go through the shop or do you go in with a list or do you just walk around and see what interests you? Yes, I walk in and try and see what interests me. Like when I went to the Strand, I didn't have a specific idea. One thing that I really look for when I'm going book shopping is the price. So I usually go into the store knowing what I want, but this time I only had a little bit in mind. I wanted to pick up one book in particular, but it was depending on the price. The Strand has really good prices, especially for new releases. So I just, like I had one book in mind that I'll show you um, that I actually ended up getting, but only because of the price. So the price is a big factor for me. If it is $18 or over, I'm probably not gonna get it. I feel like that's a lot of money to spend on a book. And so if it's $18 or over, I'm most likely not going to get it because I just feel like that's a lot of money to spend on a book. So I did have a lot in mind. I knew I was gonna get stickers. And I knew I was gonna get pins, which I actually ended up getting and I'll show you in a second. But I actually ended up getting two books that like one I knew I was going to get depending on how much money it was um and that's what I like about the strand is that it's very good price range um so here's what I got at the strand I ended up getting this tote bag I wanted to get a tote bag I love it because it has a zipper and it has cats on it and this I paid $19.95 I ended up picking up three stickers for my laptop. One says books, not bullets. I love this so much. And then I got one that says strand books. And here's my favorite one. It is just a gorilla reading a book on top of a building. And it's so cool. So those are the three stickers I got. Um, each were this one was $2.95. These two were $2.95. This one was $1.95. And then I ended up buying two pins. One that says books not bullets like the sticker I got. And then I ended up getting a strand that is rainbow. 
So then I ended up getting two books. The first book I ended up getting was the book of the month for my book club, Rainbow Reads. This is an LGBTQ plus book club that I host. All the links are down below. We have a Twitter and Instagram and we are going to be reading Tosh Hearts Tolstoy by Katherine Ormsby. So you can follow us on Twitter and now we have an Instagram and on Twitter I've been revealing clues for each month book and I'm trying to make the book club better. So each month I'm trying to reach out to the authors that we're reading. So this month we're reading Katherine Ormsby and our live show is March 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. My guest is going to be Wolfie from Silly Little Ravenclaw and I contacted Katherine Ormsby and she is willing to have a Q&A. At the end of the live show we are going to be doing a Q&A from the author. I can send the author questions and she is going to answer them. She was not able to make the live show but she said I could send her questions. So, so I got this book for the live show and I'm so excited to read it. I just have been wanting to read it so I revealed it. Follow us on Twitter so that you can see what the April pick is going to be because I'm going to be revealing it in clues and I love it. It's really fun. And for this book I ended up paying $11.99 at Strand Bookstore. Then I ended up picking up one of my most anticipated releases of the year. If you want to watch that video it'll be up here. For $9 I ended up getting Two Night Owl from Dogfish by Holly Goldberg Sloan and Meg Wolitzer. This book is about these two kids who have single gay dads and they try and match make and get them to fall in love and I'm just so excited. This is $9 and it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. It has bonus letters and drawings and I got this for $9 and it's also a hardcover and I can't believe that and I'm just so excited to have it. It's so gorgeous and when you open the book, I am so excited to read this. The original price in the US is $17.99 and I got this for $9. Hello. Next, the following day, we went to Amazon Books and I had the craziest experience there. That was my first time going and it was crazy. just wild. So I'm an Amazon Prime member um, and so when I went into the store I actually didn't know what I was going to get. I just went through the store and looked down the aisles and I found a book that I really wanted and that book was 15 Feet Apart by Rachel Lincott with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Aconis and it's about to be a movie and the trailer has just hooked me and I want to read it so bad. I love books about cancer and stuff like that and this is about these two teens that have cystic fibrosis and they basically can't be together like they have to be six in the movie it says six feet apart um but I guess it's five feet apart and it's just like a romance story and I just want to read it so badly and I can't wait to. I also got a bookmark that says Amazon Books. Originally in the store it was $18.99 and since I'm a Prime member I got it for $12.00 and so all I had to do was grab my phone and go to Amazon, click the cart, and then it was like under books and four star. And then there's a QR code where they just scanned it. And so I technically bought it from my phone. Um, like they just used, it just is hooked up to whatever card is on my Amazon account. And so 
I just bought it with my phone and it was so weird. I just felt really uncomfortable afterwards because I was like, that's the future. So I basically went to the future and it was weird, but I went to the future and I got a cheap book. So if that's the future, if the future is cheap books, I like the future. <laughs> so I am really excited to read this. I don't know when I'm going to, but I hope that it's soon. And then lastly, we went to this store called Book Off. Um, on the last day we were there, um, we went to get pizza and then there was a bookstore next door. So of course I had to go and I ended up picking up two books. Thrift stores are another place that when I go, I don't really have anything in mind because you don't really know what's there. But my tactic is that when I walk around the bookstore, I just grab things that I've heard of or I know of. And so I picked up two books that I know from booktubes. This bookstore was crazy because it had so much. It had um, like DVDs and then it had like Funko Pops and um, a bunch of things like that. And when I went, I just saw so many books that were really cheap and they were like new releases. Um, so the two books I ended up getting was first for a dollar, I got Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel by Sarah Farzan. And the last book I ended up getting was for $5.50 and I ended up purchasing Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. And it's funny because I was in, I think Strand and I saw this, but it was in paperback and it was cheap and I really wanted it. But I had like a bookish habit kind of thing where like I just knew that I already have Dumplin' in hardcover and I was like, I don't want it in paperback because it just won't match and I just don't want that. A lot of my friends talk about this, especially my friend Becca from Becca with a book and I really wanna read this and now I own it for $5.50. <laughs> Basically the theme of this whole haul and come book shopping with me video is that I shop for price. If it's over $18 or it is $18.99, I'm not gonna buy it. We're not doing that. Um, no, I buy cheap books. Case closed. <laughs> so that was my book haul and my come book shopping with me. Um, and then I ended up going to Midtown Comics. I didn't end up getting anything because it was just so much. Like it was so much for me to handle. And I kind of wanted to get um, Lumberjanes, but it was like $11 and I feel like I had bought in so many books already that I just didn't want to spend that much on it. Um, to me, I feel like it probably was really cheap, but I don't know. I feel like I just didn't need it and I was kind of exhausted by that point. So that was my video of come book shopping with me and my book haul from New York. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below how you book shop. Like if there is a specific way you do, like what do you look for when you go to the bookstore? I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time.